Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we have one of the local groups called Aspiring Young Artists who have come into the Children's Museum to present their program on African history and they've participated in a lot of the different educational programs over the years at the Children's Museum so we're delighted to have them back and sharing that aspect of the community especially when it's our busiest week of the year. Children's Museum in general is busy all the time, but it's extra busy when school is out. And so we see our biggest crowds this particular week, and, and it's so we pack it so there's plenty for everybody to do. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to sit together at the table of brotherhood. Today, it, it was more of a learning experience. It, it was to give them um, more insight and in, you know on African American history. Um, some people they they know from school, and some people they're just learning about. So we try to give them as much history as we can on our culture. You notice how the humans would move when the wiser drums would talk. One day, the little brown drum decided he loved drumming so much he wanted to be like the wise drum. We're celebrating our 10th year this year. Um, we started as an after-school program and it has just exploded into a, a program for the community. And we offer um, instruction in dance and theater, um, uh, vocal lessons, and etiquette. Once upon a time, long ago, lived a great, great people. You should know. In a rich land where they didn't judge a man by the color of his skin. African American History Month is not just for African Americans. It's a celebration of the human experience. So that's what we're here to celebrate. It's just an I've been involved since I was about nine years old. I first started doing African and hip hop. Then over the years gone, I've done some other genres of music and I've also been a part of theater and also in its vocal choir. It's really nice. It's, it's, teaching, it's teaching people who want to come and see, they want to be entertained and also learn about, about history that is not necessarily their ethnicity or that is their ethnicity but is curious to know other people's cultures. They teach you how to grow, and they really um, teach you things besides just like ballet and tap and all that stuff. They teach you how to become a better person. So I really like this place. I saw diamonds in my backyard. My bowels deliver uranium. The filings on my fingernails are semi-precious. On a trip up north, I caught a cold and blew my nose to keeping oil to the Arab world. I am so hip. Even my errors are correct. I started um, in 2009. Uh, my friend went here and she suggested I should start dancing. Throughout this whole experience, Miss um, Bonnie has taught me a lot of things about my culture that my school doesn't really tell me. So this was really a learning experience and it was really, really fun. I can fly like a bird in the sky. My favorite part would have to be um, Still I Rise, the four girls um, say the poem and the drumming, that was really cool. <laughs>